Okay, I wanted to talk about uh, EEPROMs today. Um, so I found this online, I don't know who to credit it to. Uh, www.z80.info uh, So, <laughs> some uh, retro guy. But this is a nice diagram of uh, the pinouts of various EEPROMs. Uh, 2708, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, and 512. And the kind of, uh, the, the, the big story here is that the pinouts are very similar. And so you can create sockets that can use these different um, density parts um, in the same socket if you just have to change one or two pins. Um, and so they all kind of register here at the bottom so a 28 pin is at the is the big one and a 24 pin is the small one so some of these are 24s uh the first three that the 2708 16 and 32 are all 24 pin and then they go to 28 pins for the bigger ones so we're really interested in the 24 pins we have a um uh the the board that we have was originally designed to either accept a 2708 or 2716 and we've chosen uh, the bigger part. Um, so what's the difference between a 2708 and a 2716? You can see here that pins 1 through 12, those are all identical. And pins uh, 13 through 24, they're all identical except for pin 19. Um, if it's a 2708, you have to tie that to plus 12 volts. And if it's a 2716, then you get to use it for A10, which is the, the address line that, that allows it to go from um, a, a 1K to 2K. Uh, pin 20 are the same. That's the output enabled. Pin 21 is different. Um, in the old 2708s, that was minus 5. So the part had plus 5, minus 5, and, and plus 12. Um, the 2716 uses that as just... Um, uh, programming pin VPP or just a just a, a, a high voltage a plus, plus 5 voltage um, and then everything else is the same so um, I didn't have any 2716 so I said well I'll just use 2732s knowing this chart uh, knowing that the, the, the part uh, the pinouts are almost about identical so if the board is laid out or, or jumper to accept a 2716, will it will it allow you to use a 2732? So if we take a look at the chart again, uh, the difference between a 16 and a 32, uh, pin 19 is the same, uh, A10 and A10. Uh, so the only difference is pin uh, pin 21. Pin 21 in the 2716, you had it tied to plus five. And in the 2732, it was used for A11, which is, again, the extra address line that allows it to go from a 2K part to a 4K part. Um, so um, if I want to use um, a 2732 in the same spot and have it addressed the same, I really want to pull this low. This A11 I'm not going to be using, so I'll just tie that to ground. So A11 is always zero, and I can just use half of the part. Um, so that's what I had to do on the board. Uh, there's a jumper area that allows you to go from minus 5 to plus 5 to ground, and I, I have it tied to ground. Um, we could use other parts, um, but they have extra pins, so they won't go in the board and everything. So really, we're kind of limited to, to these parts, all right? And so, like I said again, I've been using the 2732 parts with having A11 grounded. Um, but then I uh, got kind of tired of doing the uh, ultraviolet erase all the time. How to uh, erase it, program it, erase it, program it. Erasing takes about uh, six to eight minutes, something like that. And it's just, it's just kind of a headache. Um, so I thought, well, maybe there is an um, electrically erasable part. Um, we're kind of used to that these days. Nobody does UV erasing. Or maybe there's an electrically erasable part. So I found this part. Uh, this is a 28 C16. So instead of a 2716, it's a 2816. So the 28 part are electrically erasable. So there's no window on the top. And um, so what's the pinout of the 2816? Well, it's exactly the same as the 2716, except for pin 21. 
Um, and pin 21 is uh, used on this part as write enable. Okay, so the electrical write enable. And it's a low going um, uh, pulse. Um, and so if I have that tied low, it means I'm always enabling this part to be uh, pro programmed, so I don't want to do that. So if I'm going to use the 2816, I need to go back and tie um, uh, pin 21 high again. Um, so it should pop, be a pop-in replacement for the 20, 2716. Um, so I'm going to go back and tie that high again and try these 2816s and then uh, I won't have to do the uh, uh, UV erasing anymore. Alright, uh, so programming the part and uh, have it in the uh, have it in the board and it works just fine. So no more UV erasing. Uh, excellent. <laughs> so uh, that'll be a that'll be a big improvement on uh, software coding. Uh, I can do uh, almost immediate revisions to the software now.